everyone and welcome to Hampshire Library STEM Club. I'm Karen and today we'll have a look at how we can use physics to raise reindeer balloons. To do this we'll need a balloon, some string, a straw, some tape, PVA glue, a pair of scissors, a clothespin or a bag clip, some paper and colouring in pens or pencils, as well as some small pom-poms or any other craft bits that you would like to use to decorate your reindeer. Before we get started, as always, always ask a responsible adult for help and permission before you get started. The first thing we're going to do is our parts for our reindeer. So to do the antlers, you will place your hand on a piece of paper like that and then will trace around your hand using one of the pencil pencils. It can be a little bit tricky to do this, so do ask for help if you need it. So all you do is trace around your hand. And then the tricky bit is to do it with your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so it's a bit tricky to use my left one. I said, do ask for help if it's difficult. There we are. I don't know if you can quite see it. It's a little bit faint, but I can see so I know where to cut them out. So once you trace your hand, just cut out following the line. Again, do ask for help if you need it. I have a pair here that I did earlier. So if you do have some craft paper or colourful paper, you can use that. I only had white paper, so I used white paper and then colouring in pencils to decorate them. Now I did mine in a brown colour for the antlers, but you can use any colour you want. You can put stickers on there, glitter, anything you want. And I also Cut out two little eyes for the reindeer. So once you've done all the decorating parts, we'll need to blow up our balloon. Now, balloons can be a little bit tricky to blow up, so do ask for help from a grown-up if you need it. There we are, blown up our balloon. Now, we're not going to tie our balloon. Instead, we're going to use our bag clip or clothespin. And we're going to attach it to the end to stop any air from escaping the balloon. So now, we're going to attach our reindeer parts to the balloon to make it look like a reindeer. So first thing I like to do is put on the nose so I know what the front of our reindeer is. I'm going to use a bit of craft glue, put the glue on the nose, and then in the middle of the balloon. So I'm going to use a little bit of my craft glue there. That's okay, this means it will definitely stick, won't it? Right. Next, let's put our eyes on. There's a little bit less glue this time. we are starting to look a little bit like a reindeer then we need to attach our antlers so a little bit more glue and antlers will go on the side of the reindeer There we are. 
looks a bit like a reindeer, doesn't it? There we are. Now, we've done our reindeer. Now we need to get our racing course started. Oh no, the nose fell off. We we'll attach that back on there. He needs him to have his nose. Alright, so grab your straw. Now, if you have one of these straws with a bendy edge, we need to cut that off because we need just a straight bit. Again, when you're using scissors, if you're struggling a little bit, do ask for help. So when I have one straight piece of straw, we're then going to take a string and we're going to run the string through the straw. Just a little bit fiddly. Just going to aim it. Keep letting it run through until it sticks out the other end. There we are. We now have our straw on the string. So with the help of a grown up, find a good place, good secure place to attach both ends of your string. So let's find a good secure place to do that, shall we? So I'm going to attach my first end to the top of this chair. It's very important that you ask a responsible adult for help to find a good secure place. You don't want anything to topple over as you're attaching this. And then we're going to attach the other end to the other chair. So I'm going to cut the string now because I now know how long I need the string to be. There we are. Rather secure, I would say. Now we're going to attach a lovely reindeer to the straw. Now if you find that you accidentally put it a little bit too close to something, see if you can move it. There we are, that would be, be, be better. So you grab your tape, place your rein there underneath the straw and attach the rein there to the straw using some tape. There we are. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a closer shot on this before we do any racing. There we are, that's a better shot of the race. Now, if you want to do a proper race, what you can do is do a second, even a third rein there, and then tie a second or third straw parallel to the first one. Now, parallel means that two lines, in this case, a string, runs next to each other in the same direction and for the same distance. Now when you're ready, count down to zero and then remove the clip. Ready? Three, two, one, zero. That's pretty cool. And the reason our reindeer shoots forward is because of the thrust and Newton's third law of motion. When you blow up the balloon, you fill it with gas. When you release the balloon, the, the gas escapes, creating a forward pushing motion called thrust. Thrust is created by the energy released from the balloon. Which brings us to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Which brings us to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When the gas is forced out of the balloon, it's pushed back against the air outside the balloon, which then pushes the balloon forward, making it race. Which is pretty cool. Well, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have an idea for a STEM activity or experiment you would like to see us try, 
let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next time for another fun STEM activity. Until then, stay curious, keep exploring and stay safe.